Hi everyone, this is Cindy with Crane at the Heart, and I am back with a, another collab. So my collab for this month, actually it's going to run five weeks, um, is hosted by Mandy's Place, and it's a uh, Build Your Stash collab. So the idea behind this collab is that you will make um, packets of things that you can have on hand, either for Happy Mail or to use in projects. So really building your stash. So if you're going to be doing happy mail and you are short on time, you've got packets of things already made. Um, so what I'm going to be making for this week are shabby butterflies. And I got inspired by um, a YouTube video, which I'm going to post in the description as well as in the video here so that you guys can watch it as well. And I kind of changed it a little bit based on the materials that I actually have. So what I did was my I got butterflies from the Cricut um, cartridge Anna's Vintage Butterflies. It's an Anna Griffin digital cartridge on the um, design space on Cricut. Now, you don't have to do that. You can get um, stamped butterflies. You can use butterflies from Etsy. Um, you can cut them out. You don't have to use a machine to cut these out. I did because it was on the Cricut, and I these were just the butterflies that I wanted to, to, to use. Butterflies, you've either colored them in or you've printed them out. You have um, cut them. You're now ready to embellish your butterflies. So what I did with these butterflies, and I wanted to use things I had on hand. So I happen to have a lot of distressed glitter. And actually, I don't use that much glitter in my projects. But I have a whole Tupperware filled with glitter, including distressed glitter. And I actually like a chunkier glitter for this project but you can use whatever you know glitter you have on hand so I used distressed glitter I used this broken china I used a Stampin' Up chunky glitter that I've had like forever because I can't remember last time I bought from Stampin' Up could, at least five years ago um, a chunky glitter from Stampin' Up and I also used um, some other distressed glitter I don't know the name of of it some gold and even some brown, which I'll show you guys later. So what I do is I've got my butterfly here and I've got um, my paper I'm going to work on. And for this one, I use this broken china, which is really, really beautiful. So I'm using art glitter glue. I'm art, uh, yeah, art glitter glue. You can use whatever you have on hand. And I just decide where I want um, mine to be and then I just dip it because this is a, a big enough thing that I can dip it and honestly you should give it time to dry I usually you know I'm, I'm working um, in the evening so it dries overnight or even longer because I don't necessarily have time um, in the day to craft so I let it sit for a little while but at least until it dries so however long that takes okay so once you've got your glitter now I would let it sit but since I'm demoing this um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the next step would be so the next step would be to um, put your stamens on so I am using these stamens for my antennas. Now you can use, I mean, you can use wire, which is what I saw someone use. Um, you don't have to have antennas. You can just leave it, you know, blank. Um, but I do an antenna. And I usually do it on the back of the front one, but because that's drying, I'm going to have to kind of fudge it a little bit because I'm going to layer these. So put my stamens. And what I did with these is they're actually white, and I just sprayed them with, I have some Prima sprays. I think this is a, 
this is gray stone. And then, I'm kind of doing it a little bit backwards, but then you're going to layer these. And I'm using um, just some foam squares. And I don't mind that their colors are different, that one is um, a white glitter and one is blue, because it doesn't really matter. And so this one is perfectly dry because I made this um, yesterday. And so I'm going to go ahead and just take this off. And so these are kind of inspired by Renee Bouquet, who does, um, it's a, it's a it used to be an Etsy shop. I don't know if it's still Etsy or she has her own website now, but she makes these um, beautiful butterflies. She uses glass glitter and they're really, really gorgeous. So then you would layer this on top and being careful because I don't want to mess up the glitter. Okay. So there you go. You have your butterfly. And then what I do is I take uh, enamel dots, or I'm sorry, enamel accents. You could also use um, tonic, has something like this. Um, you can use liquid pearls, um, and you can use different colors. I'm just using black because I just like the way that it, it looks. And so then you just make dots of um, this paint on your butterfly. And then you go ahead and you let this completely dry. So this takes a little bit of time to dry. And this is, this is your butterfly right here. Okay. So I'm going to set this aside because this is something that I will um, use in a project. And I'm going to show you how I package them up. I'm going to set that one aside. How I package them, how I'm going to package them anyway for this. So I'm using paper from, let's see, what paper is this? This is Take Note from Fancy Pants. I've had it forever. I think I bought it from Peachy Cheap a long time ago. So all I do to attach it is I take... Um, just a foam square and I'm going to be doing you'll see I have different variations of sizes in my little packages and I'm just going to this one there oh I forgot the last step let me do the last step on our butterfly before I forget because there's actually one more step to make it really beautiful I almost forgot because I'm worried about touching that is I actually put some gems down the middle and I think black would be really cool too but I'm using um, these want to scrap bling which I've had forever I think I paid 50 cents for these and I got these at the scrapbook expo when it was in Anaheim and I didn't go this past year because it was in Pomona which is not close and then I didn't go when they had it in Anaheim before because I had a project I was working on at work so it's been two years and I still have this stuff I'll touch one of them okay sorry but this is the finished butterfly just don't want to mess it up okay so You've got your butterflies. They're just on there with one little pop dot so they don't fall off. And then they're easily taken off. So you're not going to um, tear or ruin your butterfly when you take it off to try and, you know, use it in a project. And so then what you do is you just place it in the bag. Now this bag I got from Daiso. And you just put it in the bag. And then I cut a topper using my favorite little topper, bag topper die. This is from Avery L. But you use whatever you have. I mean, I had another one I thought about using that I'd gotten from 
that place in China, but I opted to go with this one because I like the size of it. Now I'm just going to staple mine. Sometimes I use uh, double-sided tape, but in this case I am just doing that. And then I've got a, a little butterfly that I'm using. Now I am using these brand new dies to me. I haven't hauled them yet. I haven't put them in a haul, but I'm going to because I'm going to um, talk about why I bought these, but these are from, these are Nellie's multi frames and they're from ecstasy crafts. And I'm going to talk about that in a haul later and talk about why I bought it and, um, do a project share. In the meantime, I just layered it on there. Okay. So let me show you all the ones that I made so you can see all the different ones. So I've got this set, and this is uh, too big and a, and a little one. This one is for little ones. This is actually for a different challenge I'm going to be doing. This is uh, two bigs and a little, and then another two bigs and a little. And they're all decorated a little bit different. And I think that they're really adorable. So they're really easy to make. Um, I made all these butterflies. Um, a couple of hours last night and a couple of hours today and I had all these butterflies done. So it, it is an easy project because, um, especially if you're not like making your own butterflies, you're finding butterflies that are already done and printing them out and embellishing them. It goes by very, very quickly. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to visit all the other collaborators because they're going to all be showing you how you can make your own embellishments and how you can package them up. And I can't wait to watch and see what they're doing um, to get ideas. This is Cindy with Crane at the Heart.